Hey everyone, my name is Lin Han. I'm the principal of education and community here at Habergenic. And welcome back to yet another workflow tutorial. Today we're going to design this lattice headrest with partial skin over it. Let's go. So I've already imported the headrest. This is how it looks like. So first we're going to create the shell. Let's rename it by right clicking on the object and type headrest shell. Very good. And the next function we're going to use is shell. The direction will be outside and the thickness will be 3mm. The shell needs to be expanding outwards because later on we'll be importing yet another one of these models to lattice it. And we do not want the shell to interfere with the lattice. So there we have it. We can see that nothing much has changed uh, except for when we go into the splitting plane. And we can see that currently it's a shell and it has a uniform thickness of 3mm. Next, we need to cut this shell in half, and for that, let's try to do it through a Boolean difference with a cuboid that covers half of this shell. So let's create a primitive cube. Now for the size, let's do 200 millimeters in X and Y and about 220 in Z. All right, let's close out that splitting plane. Now you can see that the cube is formed in light blue, but it isn't quite at the right position. So let's translate it. Let's select the main object to be cube and the offset in the direction will be around 100 millimeters in the negative x direction. And we also need to slightly move it downwards it seems by maybe approximately 10 mm. And there we go. So now that the cuboid that we just created is covering approximately half of the headrest shell, let's get a difference between them. So the main object has to be the one that we are subtracting away from and in this case it will be the headrest shell. And the secondary object is what we are using to subtract away and in this case it's the cube. So boolean difference and confirm. And there we go, the new object that is shown in light blue now is approximately half of the headrest shell. So let's now re-import the original base model of the headrest and you can see that it fits really nicely because the direction for our shell is outside. So let's rename it headrest lattice because we're gonna fill it with a BASF lattice and let's try to change the color into something that is more obvious and save it. And let's go to BSF 4 am Lattice, select main object to be Headrest Lattice. And in this case, we will not be modulating it. So let's leave the Path to Modulator map. Let's go with the default for material. And for Lattice Pad, uh, it's a protection. I like the unit cell size at code B and the stiffness number to be 3. And let's hit Confirm. Now you can see that the Headrest Lattice model has been populated by the lattice cells. So the last step we have to do is to bring them together through a boolean union. So in this case the main and secondary objects will be the headrest shell and headrest lattice and boolean union. So there we have it, we have one single headrest that is infilled with a lattice pattern and half covered with a shell. So now this is how it looks like with the shell and the lattice. So there we have it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or challenges using high design, feel free to reach out to our team and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.